everyone, Audrey here. Welcome back to At Home with Audrey. I am on day two of the Plant Strong Challenge, which is a whole food, plant-based diet with no oils and no alcohol. You can only drink water, coffee, tea for seven days. So today for lunch, I had a quinoa salad served over spinach with, I heated up the quinoa and put it on top with some pickled red onions that I'm gonna show you how to make today and just some artichoke hearts packed in water, not oil. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I'm going to make some quinoa sweet potato tacos topped with avocado and pickled red onion. And the tacos are gonna be crispy. So first, I am going to peel the sweet potato and dice it up. Um, I should probably actually get the quinoa started first. I rinse the quinoa just like you would with rice. So I have one cup of quinoa here. And then yesterday, with all the scraps I had left over from the mushroom soup, I added some more onion, carrots, and celery and just boiled it in water on the stove to make some really nice vegetable broth here. And I added a little bit of salt and that is what I'm going to cook the quinoa in. When you cook quinoa, the recipe calls for two to one, just like you do rice, but I think it's more liquid than you need. So I'm gonna do one and three quarters cup liquid to one cup of quinoa. Quinoa, it's wet right now from rinsing it out, but I'm gonna put it in a hot pan and toast it up and then I'll add the liquid and have it come to a boil, cover it and cook it on low for I think 20 minutes. You can tell when it's toasted, you'll A, be able to tell when all the moisture comes out cause it'll be just like it was, it'll be nice and dry again. And then um, you'll really be able to smell the quinoa once it is toasted. The quinoa is nice and toasted, you can really smell it. And so now I'm going to add uh, one and three quarters cups of chicken stock. I'm just gonna stir it up because it kind of has, some of the stuff has gone to the bottom. Oops, one and three quarters cups. Then I'm gonna put this back on the heat. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to low and cover it and cook it for 20 minutes. Get back to peeling my sweet potato. And then I'll dice it up. Because I cannot use oil during this challenge, I am going to season this with lime juice, salt, pepper, and cumin. And I'm thinking that the lime juice will just help um, all the spices stick to the sweet potato a lot better and give a little more flavor than say water. I definitely think not using oil is a challenge because it adds so much flavor. And I'm cooking it on one of these silicone baking mats uh, so it won't stick to the pan because obviously I'm not using oil so I'm a little bit worried about something sticking to the pan. Salt, not too much. Pepper. You could also use taco seasoning would be really good on this. I have the oven preheated to 375 and I'm going to cook these. I'm gonna check them after 20, 25 minutes and see how they look. Once I assemble the tacos, I am going to top them with these pickled red onions. They're so good. I've been putting them on everything. I, uh, all I do is I thinly slice half a red onion put it in a jar with two tablespoons of sherry vinegar and half a teaspoon of salt. And they pickle really fast. You could eat them in 15, 20 minutes. 
And then I just put them in the fridge and let them marinate and they just get softer. Not softer, but they break down a little bit, but they have really good crunch and the vinegar kind of takes that onion edge off. They taste really good. The quinoa is finished and the sweet potatoes are still cooking, but I am going to try to make crispy tacos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm going to lay it through the rack like this and give it about 10 minutes and see if it'll crisp up. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this out. Hmm. And put these on. And we'll see what ends up happening. Crispy tacos, fingers crossed. <laughs> It has been about 10 minutes, so I am going to check the tacos. I, ooh, I think we're just in time. How am I gonna get these off of here? I'm gonna grab a plate. They're definitely crispy. The challenge might be getting something in them. Those sweet potatoes are almost done. So I have cut up some avocado, some cilantro. I have my onions here. My quinoa is right here. So I will start to assemble. I also have some salsa. Put the quinoa in. Uh-oh. Quinoa in. Going to add some salsa. And I'm going to take the sweet potatoes out of the oven. I flipped them once while I was, while they were cooking. They don't come out as as like golden brown as they would using oil, but they're still gonna be tasty. So I'm just gonna take some of these and put them in the taco. The reason I wanted to make sure that these tacos were crispy is because I feel like the sweet potatoes are can be a little mushy, the quinoa has a little bit of texture to it. But I felt like if we just used a regular tortilla that everything would just feel mushy. Have that in here, last one goes in. Then I'm going to top, it's probably a little bit big to get in here, some avocado that I cut up. Put that in there. Might have let them go a little too long, but they're still gonna be tasty. And last, but not least, we have the onion and cilantro to present for you. Try it. They look really good to me. Mmm. Mm. The cumin on the potatoes the makes a really big difference. And the pickled onion on top is a must. So, day two, complete, almost. Tomorrow's day three, I'm probably going to eat mostly leftovers. So I will check in again on day four. Thanks guys. If you like, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.